thing. Oh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, in this exercise, what I'll be doing just in a moment is reading a paragraph which I've written on this whiteboard just to the left of me. And embedded within this paragraph are multiple errors related to punctuation, grammar, um, of course, verb tenses, and so on, uh, spelling in some cases. Um, perhaps not in this, but you should still be on the lookout for it. However, that being said, what I'll do is once I've read this paragraph or to you, I'll ask that you, as I step away, pause the video to reread it yourself and make any corrections you feel you're able to identify and find. And then once you are ready to go, I'm going to ask that you resume the video, at which point I will correct the paragraph with you and hopefully your corrections align with my own. Of course, if you have others which vary from the ones that I have, you're welcome to leave those in the comment section below. You're always welcome to do so. Uh, or perhaps you have an alternative modification. All right, for now, we're going to go ahead and jump into, make sure it's in focus. Yes, good. We're going to go ahead and read the paragraph together. Uh, here we have, I guess I'll use my hand, grabbed his legs, Ben shout, right? Hurry, the police will be here any minutes. Guni scream. Ben and Guni, we're the bestest of friends. They do everything together. Even hide the evidence. And then we have this very artful depiction of Guni and Ben. All right. Uh, oh, I'm going to go ahead and step away, bring this into view. Please pause the video here if you can, and make those corrections and resume when you're ready. Do, 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 do. Okay, I am moving and talking, so I'm guessing that I have been resumed, you have resumed the video. So we will now correct it together. Let's start at the beginning of the sentence, as we always should. Uh, beginning of a sentence always should start with a capital letter, which in this case it is not. So we're going to start grab. Ooh, grabbed, past tense, I see. This verb is in past tense. Grabbed his legs. I'm not quite sure who his is at this point, but we know that their legs are being grabbed. Then shout. Okay, not quite sure the tenth, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, grabbed his legs, Ben shout. Hurry, the police will be here any minutes. Guni scream. Okay, so it sounds like we have two sets of dialogue occurring here. The first of which is attributed to Ben, as he is the one who is shouting the previous statement. So I'm going to go ahead and look and see, well, okay, if I'm going to showcase dialogue, I need to include quotation marks. In this case, I need to open my quotation marks at the beginning of a statement. So, or his command in this case, grabbed his legs. And if it is a command, I'm assuming that it's something he, in this case Ben, is demanding being done now or in the moment. So this grabbed shouldn't be in the past tense. Instead, it should be in the present tense. So grab his legs. And we know he shouted this thing. So I also know that this clause or this statement is going to be uh, an exclamatory one. Right? And I believe this is the end of what he said or shouted, so I'm going to close those quotes. And I know Ben is a proper noun, which requires capitalization, and we know he's done this thing, which in this case is shout, but he shouted, so we're going to go ahead and add ED, followed by a period to end that statement. Right? So again, we have the first clause, grab his legs, Ben shouted, he's done this thing, period. We're good. Next sentence should begin with a capital letter. Hurry, the police will be here any minutes. You need to scream. Okay, so same issue with tense. Also, this looks like it's something that was attributed to what this young lady Gunit is saying. So therefore, just as with Ben, I'm going to open up with quotation marks. Hurry, comma. The police will be here any minute, right? Any minute's an expression which means at any point the police could, in this case, barge in. Any minute. So I'm going to get rid of that S. And I know Gunit, having said this, is saying it in a manner in which she's screaming. So much like Ben, as he's exclaiming or shouting it, she is also doing the same thing. Right? It's a hes or not a hesitant, it's an excited man. So any or stressful manner. Minute. So I'm going to conclude that with an exclamation mark. And because that's the last portion of what she said, I'm also going to close those quotes. So it comes after the exclamation mark. Guni being a proper noun requires a capitalization. We know she's done this thing, so I'm going to take the verb, and then it's a standard verb. I'm going to end with ed, 
followed by a period, right? That's that second clause. We know the first clause is what she said. We know she shouted it or screamed it. So I'm gonna punctuate it with its appropriate exclamation mark. Second clause is the attribution, right? We're saying that she, in this case, is the one who screamed in the past tense. Next paragraph, we've got this indent, then, first sentence, first word in the sentence, rather, and a proper noun requires capitalization. Then, and, Buni, we've got a general article here. Uh, you would traditionally use a instead of an. An only applies when the word following it begins with a vowel. In this case, g is a consonant. So you would think, okay, well, it should be a, Guni, but hmm, it doesn't seem like I need an article, in this case, a general article. Instead, I'm looking for a conjunction, right? I want to bridge two things. Then, and, Guni, also a proper noun, requires capitalization. We're, right? Apostrophe indicates that we're joining two words, two separate words, abbreviating the second. We are is what we are represents as a contraction, which doesn't make sense in the context of the sentence. Then and guni, we are the bestest. No. Should be were. W E R E. Same spelling, sans or without the uh, apostrophe. So Ben and Guni were the bestest, right? Best or most of something is a superlative. Bestest isn't a word. So this EST, the suffix EST, again, you would traditionally append to a word to produce a superlative, is not going to work. So you should just read best. So Ben and Guni were the best of friends. And hopefully you notice that the spelling of friends is incorrect. Phonetically, it's fine, but this is not how you spell it. It's F-R-I-E-N-D-S, right? Friends. Uh, let's see. Oh, Ben and Guni were the best of friends. They do everything together. Now here, I feel like there should be an end to this initial or this first clause. So I'm going to go ahead and end it, since it's a statement, we're just telling you that they're the best of friends with a period, which means that next clause or that next statement needs to be capitalized. So they do everything together. Although, just going back to that last point, you could also end it with a comma or a semicolon. But just for the sake of argument or simplicity, I'm going to end it with a period. So, okay, going back. They do everything. And again, these two words can exist independent of one another. However, they're meant to be merged together to produce what's called a compound word. So everything should be one word, compound word. So they do everything together. And just like we have this preposition to, gather, not a word on its own in this case, you would think gather, but doesn't make sense independent of this preposition, which we're going to link to produce a new word. So this is just its own word, together, right? Oh, comma, even hide the evidence. And in this case, we're talking about what seems to be like a scene of, I don't want to say murder scene, but in this case, it seems like something happened and they're having to grab this person's legs. So anyway, so even hide, or in this case, hiding, we want the gerund, so I'm gonna drop that E, add my ING, because this is something that they've done. We're referring back, yep. Yeah. Even hiding the evidence, period. Okay, hopefully this was helpful to you, which of course, if you found helpful, I would very much appreciate a like, and if you haven't already, I would also appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, please feel free to leave any comments you'd like in the section below, of course, if appropriate. And I look forward to working with you in the next one. And I just want to make sure, yes, we're good. Thank you for joining me.